Konnichiwa! Hello! You saw nothing. Nothing, nothing happened. Oh, it's doing this thing again. That's great. Oh, yeah, today. Okay. Guess I have to keep this opened up. That's whatever. Hello! How goes? How goes? Yeah, if I close the, the the window for chat, it just stops working again. So I guess I'll have to uh, keep it like this. Kalanichiwa. So you need to pay attention to us. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, to, to a certain extent. And the weirdest dream that the string started twice is crazy. <laughs> that is the worst thing. This is good. This is good now. You know, this this thing, this uh, this lip balm or ointment, should I say, has been really helping. Should uh, I recommend it? It it really really fixed it. Wow. Less lip skin peeling, which is nice. Did I have a good weekend? Of course I did. Always have a good weekend. And well, um, I don't know if I can say this, but I've been playing at Baldur's Gate. Um, I'm still only at the beginning, but I modded it so that my character could be even more pretty. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited. Now it really feels like I'm playing an MMORPG, so. What build am I doing? Um, I'm using a ranger. Does your character look like you? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Take a screenshot for us? Well, I don't really have approval for um, showing mods on stream, so I won't be able to show you guys, but you know, still, it's very good. Why would I want to be in the Baldur's Gate? Why not? Don't don't you have your ideal self? Yeah. Can you draw it for us? Just um, imagine it's a it's a tiefling, 
but hot. Yeah. You gonna romance the squid? No, I don't. I don't think so. And it turns out that the squid has a name, so excuse you. It's called a mind flare. <laughs> N now you care, yes, of course. So a normal tiefling. No, 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 no. Tiefling. But hotter. Okay, but anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start playing. Would you romance the owlbear? I'm not sure. I'm currently risking a shadow heart unintentionally. I don't know why. All the all the things that I've been doing so far, um, shadow heart is um, approving him. So yeah, everyone does that, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, but let's see, let's see! We're gonna play some Power Wash, which is gonna be sick! Power Wash? Heck yeah! My favorite, my beloved. You like a goth GF too? Based. Well, of course I'm based, but... I just like my girls cute, okay? I like them... How should I say? Like, I, you can protect them kind of thing. Like, the cool ones have their charm too, but... You know. It's, it's kind of my thing, I suppose. Yeah, it's all about the gap. Mm -hmm. Why can't I hear anything? Oh, now I get it. I understand now. It's because I set it to something completely different. There we go. Alright, shall we? Shall we? Let us go. That doesn't work again, which is fine. I can make this work. I can always make it work, after all. Watch. Watch this. Aha! Where there's a will, there's a way. There is a lot of dirt on the screen. That's why we're going to fix it. We're gonna fix it. There we go. And I think it should be in... Is it in bonus jobs? No, we did these. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Uh, we didn't do these three. Alright. Let's start with something... Simple-ish. Yeah, new maps. Why else would I start this up? So, which one should we do? Paintball Arena, Spanish Villa. I'm not wearing the suit. Hold on. <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna get to it. I haven't started. The Spanish one? Okay. Let's do that one. <laughs> yeah. Oxygen's depleted.
Okay, let me know if the volume is good. Oh, okay. I don't know why we need oxygen levels. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna use my triple nozzle. Oh, it's low. I got you, man. Mm hmm 60% delete. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that! Already! Dings! Mm -hmm. We have no idea if the substance itself is terrestrial or alien in origin. In the previous outbreak, one of our colonies reorganized itself into a hierarchy determined solely by the skills, capability, and personality of the individuals. This is not related to the scenery whatsoever. Terrifying. Why is it counting down? It's making me a little anxious. Oh, wait. Substance itself is an extraordinarily powerful radio- uh, psychoactive chemical. Interesting. Cool story. When exposed, the individual cannot help but act with absolute integrity. That's great. I really just want a power wash, though. Yeah, I don't care about the lore, I'm just here to power wash. Can you imagine if something like that got into the wrong hands? I... Wish I cared. 20%, okay. Your mission, an exploratory rover, has been contaminated with a dangerous substance. How is this related to the Spanish villa? No terraforming or colonization can take place until you have eradicated the threat. I'm... Mm? Leave me alone? The future of humanity's expansion through the solar system rests in your capable hands. Okay. I'm... Mm. You know what? You know what? Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. You keep doing your sweet, sweet talking. I don't care. Good stream. Hey, Crony, how have you been? Do anything cool over the weekend or just more work? Oh, well, thank you, Shannon. I'm just looking through to here. Some of them aren't showing up. Weird. Weird. What are we going to clean today? Things. We're going to clean things. Your birthday's on the 27th. Uh, but duh. Uh, but Duh. Birthday two days ago. Huh. Duh. Custom crony cake. That'd be cool. Also, thanks to me, Leo Watchall. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to Mars, Astro Washer. We're extremely grateful you took the time to come all the way out here.
YouTube is being a YouTube. Your liquid oxygen reserves have been carefully calibrated to last precisely as long as the mission, so do not concern yourself with time constraints. Stop talking! I just love animals. Oh my god. Do I look like your therapist? I don't care. Stop talking! I'm just a power washer! If I were a bird, I'd be a damn fine warmer pooler. But my nest would be awful and some people can't process that. Anyway... I've been using my back garden as a feeding station for the town's cats for some considerable time. Here's a bird fanfic. I know, right? Also, orange robot, you're going to do great. Don't you worry. As long as you did your best, that's all that matters. Okay, I think this is good. I don't know why this floor is not clean though. Like, what? What about this is not clean? Oh. Wait, no, I still don't get it. Oh. There we go. You know what? This is a pretty easy job. I like it. I approve of this. And at least the stories are becoming a little more realistic than, you know, just oxygen levels depleting and whatnot. At least the new person messaging me is talking about birds, so I'll take that. You miss the power wash aliens? Well, that's all in the past now. I'm gonna have to climb up there, don't I? Yeah. Oh, hey, KT! Have fun in Japan? Mm -mm -mm. Got some... Do I have some food suggestions? Savory ones? I think you should go have sushi! Sushi is super cheap there, so I like that. Uh, takoyaki. Yeah, takoyaki is pretty good too, yeah. But like, the sushi. You gotta try the sushi. Sushi's amazing. Oh, and yakiniku, right, right? They don't look it, but cats are hopelessly helpless animals. H um... Elaborate. They didn't look so cute, nature would have killed them off years ago. Hmm? Felicia, what on earth are you talking about? They've always been safe here, and as you can see, incredibly well fed. I have not seen any cats. For a while. Dude, have you seen how many cats survive out in the wild? Like, they can hunt. And live just fine. I don't know what you're on about. It seems like... You have a very skewed perspective on these little critters. They are more than self like self-sufficient. Yeah, they're- they're extremely good hunters, yeah! 
They can totally survive by themselves. You know, I don't... I don't think I like Felicia that much. My friend has a black cat that has no thoughts in its head. Well... How, how dare you say that? You, you don't know. You would understand. They actually think so much. Maybe. M maybe. Yeah, I don't appreciate the cat slander. Okay, good. Oh, I'm a snail. So sorry to hear that. Sometimes there are people who likes to make a mess for no particular reason, but what can we do? Moku moku. Okay, this is... What about the wall? Oh. I see. Mm -hmm. Come on. <laughs> You're still talking about Baldur's Gate. Have I decided on its backstory? Um, I think it was a criminal for the for the trait, so that its deception can be on the higher level. Just like you. I'm no criminal. You don't really know me, do you? Just assume that I'm a criminal and I'm not saying this for legal reasons whatsoever. Have I broken any law? No, sorry. Nope, nope, no, never. I would, I would never. Never once chased down by the fence. No siree! Me? No. I don't even blink an eye. I can even pass the lie detector if I really wanted to. But you know, I don't like lying. I only lie when it's necessary. Otherwise, I'm a very, very good, good, upholding citizen under the law. What about white lies, though? Sure, I can do white lies. But the thing is, if it's so easy to get away with it, why lie, right? And besides, I don't really... How should I say? Hmm. Like, I really appreciate honesty, I think, when I make friends, for example. And if they, I guess, portray a different image than they actually are, I guess it leaves a very bad impression on me, that is. 
like, you know, it's... Yeah. It's like, how should I say... It's okay if you were honest about it. You know, at least, um... Or, you don't even have to say anything, it's just that... Don't... Abuse the... The things left unsaid, you know? I don't like that. Why can't I put down this ladder? Like, how do you guys feel? How do you guys feel about... That, I suppose. It's kind of a difficult topic. I'm not really sure, like, how to phrase it exactly, but... About... Mm. About abusing what's unsaid. Kind of like... Yeah. In a way... Mm. Oh! Oh, I know a word. Deceiving. I don't really like... Deception. I like deception in games, but... I don't really like it when it's... IRL, I suppose? I get really mad. <laughs> really. You shouldn't justify abuse, though. Oh god, I never said that. It's horrible. You don't like Decepticons? Yeah, because they're so deceiving. Mm, I mean, that is true. Who doesn't like... Mm. Like, nobody, nobody likes being deceived, yes, but... I think if you were to deceive someone, uh, I think you should completely keep it to yourself. Like, not say anything. Hush, hush. Like, if you can get away with a lie, or, well, more specifically, deceiving someone, don't, don't tell it to anyone. Because, like, yeah, who knows? Maybe those people would rather not find out. Oh, thank you! Oh, you heard my cover? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, singing's not really my forte, but... I've been trying. And I'm gonna have to keep trying, really. I'm like, yo, singing, man. Singing was never really my thing. It was more so that, oh, it'd be nice if I could sing, but I mean. But well, it's okay. You know, I'll just keep at it and see how far it can take me kind of thing. So, yeah, it's new. Singing is hard, yo. It is. It really is hard, yo. Planter. Oh. Don't worry about that. Not now. So it was such a shock when all the cats suddenly took off on me. Yeah, because maybe you shouldn't have assumed things, you little 
Felicia. I've given them nothing but love, affection, and cod. Ooh, they would definitely run away if you gave them cod. Just, uh... Yeah, it'd make them very bitter, angry creatures. It was then that people started knocking on my door, demanding their cats back. I suddenly felt such relief. It wasn't me after all. No, it was definitely you, Felicia. Have I stolen anything? Oh god! Uh, no siree! No, I am a law-abiding citizen. I would never do such a thing. Who... Who, who would do such a thing? Not me. You stole our hearts. No siree, me? Uh-uh, nuh-uh. Even if I did, I, I've changed. I've changed for the better. Absurd. Where would you get such an assumption like that? Not the assumption I got when I was hanging out with Callie. Whatever would you be talking about? I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about, honestly. Like, we were... we were chillin'. No, no. Menace to society. That's... that's only for, you know... Sometimes, just just sometimes, we we have our like off day. Yeah, but no, it was it was fine. Like we were having a good time. Chillin. Might have over exaggerated it, obviously, but we were just enjoying each other's company and it was uh, good. Good times. Good vibes. Wait, what? Small planter. What about it? Oh. Oh, Tav! From Baldur's- I'm kidding. It's my birthday two days ago. <gasps> Hup da! Hup da! I hope you had a great one, man. And, you know, it's all good. I usually don't get birthday gifts, but... Yeah, I mean, this year was kind of a very pleasant surprise. Like... Yeah. I guess, you know... Um... My, my... My March... My, my birthday in March, that's like... It's kind of amazing to see so many people collaborate together uh, to do something for someone like me. 
it's uh yeah it's very surprising like yeah I don't know kind of makes me feel weird like yeah like, it's not a bad feeling obviously it's nice but I don't know how to describe it really um, but if the cats weren't there, where were they? I needed to know who was feeding them and, more importantly, what. I spent my nights prowling the streets, searching for clues, and my days concocting incredible chowders. Okay, good, good for you. But no luck. was me I was feeding them what why why would you feed them questionable things like that do you want to die is that it do you have a death wish okay this is good Nope. Yeah, I have so much money in this game. I already bought everything. What am I supposed to do with my life now? <laughs> alright, alright. Good. Yo, I'm pretty much almost done now. Wow. What was that just now? Okay, it's so clean. I'm gonna clean upstairs now. You're so rich, you could buy up the dev company. Uh, that... That I cannot do, I don't think. Flattered, though. I only have 8,000. I don't think that's enough to buy up the company. So, out of curiosity, do they give you the triple nozzle um, in bonus drops? Because I know in bonus drops you're limited to certain power washers, but I bought the triple nozzle. If people didn't buy the triple nozzle, would they not be able to use it? Only if the map lets you wash a bit bit. So if you're allowed to use the pro washer, which in the bonus job, it's, um... It's the pro one. Are you just automatically given the triple nozzle? Or were you supposed to get it prior? Maybe. Hmm. 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 Interesting. I have to unlock the triple nose prior. I see. If that's the case, you are getting the premium experience! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, man. I'm the real power washer here.
<laughs> oh, the triple nozzle is meta. Oh, you have no idea. It is so much better than the orange one. What kind of things, huh, you may have stolen? We already know you're a kidnapper of Snap Sons. Just curious what other criminal enterprises your mafia allegedly dabbles in. Like I said... You know... I can't... I can't elaborate on that, you know? You know... But, you know, that aside... Uh, you know, like, just, just, um, things. So I guess if they've moved all on, then maybe it's time for me to, too. Hey, once the garden is all cleaned up, I'll be able to have guests around again. Lots of them. What you do to make it this messy, man? I sure hope everyone likes chowder. More of a cream soup kind of person. Or corn soup. I like those. I may have made someone disappear. Not not kill them off, obviously, but I may have made them disappear. <laughs> Just a kidding. How how could I be able to do such a thing? That's crazy. No. No, I can. It's all fun. Unless? No, there's no unless. Uh, if I really wanted to, I could probably... I could probably visit- no, I won't. I would never do such a thing. But you know, that's uh... It's just funny, funny, quirky things. Balcony wall. Almost. There we go. <laughs> nice, nice, beautiful. Not nice, I'm not done. Yeah, I mean the dings here have been pretty scuffed, but it's okay. As long as it gives me the light, it's fine. I'm happy that way. Mm, power wash streams like these are extra comfy after a long work day. It's been some time since the last one three months ago. And the last solo power wash was a month before that. Thanks for always giving us streams to look forward to. I'm glad. Thank you. Yeah, we're having such a chill time. Making jokes. Laughing. People disappearing. Obviously joking about that. Mm-hmm. I'm the one that disappeared. 
But why don't you reappear? Easy. Just show up. Crony, check everyone. Say you love Crony to confirm you're okay. <laughs> oh, you guys are fine. You guys are okay. Don't you worry. As long as you're on my good side, it's all good. Ooh. Railing base. I love crony. You love crony? Whoa, what a coincidence. Me too. For real, for real. You see, self-love is so important. And I know people meme about it. But... Self-care is important, man. You gotta... You gotta be... Compassionate for yourself. That's how you have a healthy relationship. With yourself. What makes you think I've been together for such a long time with Crony? I've had to live with her pretty much all my life. And see, we're still getting along. We have our ups and downs, obviously, but... Now we- we care. We- we love. Ugh. Tell Crony to go to sleep earlier. Now, you see... That's, uh... It's kind of out of my control because Crony... 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 Sorry, I, I told her that I wouldn't be talking about our relationship in public. I'm doing it again. <sighs> oh, there it is. Window bars. That, 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 that. Keep it in the bedroom? I mean, yeah. Well, why do you want to know about my my nighttime activities? That's weird. All I do is just sleep. What's wrong with you? What do you mean, keep it in the bedroom? It's kind of insensitive for you to say no. How how could you? At like 5 in the morning. Hey, you don't know. You don't know if it's 5 in the morning or 5 in the evening or whatever. You don't know that. Don't worry about it. It's nothing. We caught you tweeting at like 4 a.m. Like I said, you don't know that. Maybe it's 4 p.m. Time is very subjective. Time's not real. That's why I'm just a concept. I'm just a concept. I'm... I'm not real. Wait. I don't see anything else. 
My immersion. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm real. As as real as I can be, really. Which is, so to speak, not that real. But still, still, that's still pretty good, I think. <laughs> anyway, back to power washing. Isn't this nice? Isn't it neat? Isn't it spiffy? Good. Little drop of dopamine with each ding. And it's 98% done. You know what that means. That's right. Gonna be done soon. Beautiful. What a beaut. Sheesh. Wait, what? Good. Very nice. Ah. Fountain wall. Oh, there it is. Why am I waving that around? Uh, to find the dirt, obviously. Tower facade. The heck is a tower facade? Oh, that. And what else? Balcony railings. Balcony. That's not shining. Oh. Poor Bell. Uh, Corbell. Oh, there. Mm -hmm. Casa. Mi casa. That's, that's the wrong casa. Upper Casa? Window ledges. The heck? There's nothing. Oh. And courtyard alcove. Garden steps. Garden steps. Oh, there it is. Mm 
done. And then court yarn. Uh, it should be around here. Oh, yeah. Done! Let's take a look now, shall we? Beautiful. Look at that! Mm-mm! Hello, dear. Isn't it amazing what you can find in your yard when you can have a little dig around? Been having the most incredible time in mine, and as a result, there's an industrial-scale excavator on my front yard that's as filthy as you like. Do you think you could be a love and wash it down for me? Thanks a bunch, Marine. Thanks. But I'm not your love. Excuse. Excuse. Man, I'm so blessed to have the triple nozzle. You have no idea how good this is. I'm so glad you're here. It'll likely take you a while to clean the great thing. Not that long, hopefully. It does look a little complex. I'll pop the kettle on the stove, make you a nice hot drink, and tell you the entire amazing story. No, it's okay. I... I don't need to. That's very kind of you, though. Thank you. When I say that you don't have to, you really, 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 really don't have to. Please don't say anything. Oh my god. About five months ago, I was rocking back and forth in my hammock, trying desperately to remember the recipe to a delicious broth I once had in 1983. Oh, here we go again. Suddenly, something shiny caught my eye, glistening in the sun. It was an excavator. Or you went crazy. Choices are endless. I waddled inside to get my trowel, determined to dig up whatever it was. That's... that's so interesting. Hope that's it. Mm -hmm. Are you deceiving? No, I just... I don't want to be rude, okay? It's more of a white lie. You're already being rude. No, uh, she can't hear me. Yet. Not because she's old or anything, but really, she can't hear. Okay, good. Don't be rude to her. You guys are the same age. Hey! Hey, you don't know. You don't know that. You don't know how old she is. As I started to dig, I thought it might be an old tin of soup that I didn't like and had thrown out the window. Wow. Haha. <laughs> what a story, Marine. Probably vegetable. I get angry as soon as I see the label. They don't even try to make it twice, do you? Oh, that I agree. Oh, you're you're so real for that. That's... I agree. I wholeheartedly agree. But no, it was something far, far stranger than that.
Must have been something about aliens or something, once again. Wouldn't be surprised. Seems fine. So let me just clean this side. <laughs> Amazing how quickly she went from hating her to loving her. See, that's a thing. Like... I suppose, how should I say? I don't really like people. Like, let's say I don't like people, right? And I get angry. Or not even angry, I just don't want to interact with them. But if they manage to, you know, apologize for what they did and whatnot, then I get over it pretty fast. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, I hold grudges, but if they apologize and they change their ways, then yeah, I forgive them. Like, even if I didn't like the person, like, I get better about it. You forgive, but don't forget, right? What are you trying to imply with that? <laughs> what are you trying to imply, huh? I feel like you're trying to bait me into saying something. No, actually, I don't forgive and I don't forget. The first thing I saw once I got my trowel into the ground was a tooth. But not the tooth of a bull or rabbit or even a tyrannosaur. Okay, but it was it a fossil? Oh my god, you found the alien. That weird alien. That weird dried up alien. I realized that this was gonna be a big and curious job. The fake Mexican alien? No, come on. It, it can't be a lie. The government would never lie to us. Right? <laughs> right. Let's see. Eh. Oh, Tradgore. Hey, good luck, man. You're gonna do great. Crony believes that Tradgore will not have skill issues. And if Tradgore does, 
crony will think should have practiced more. Ha ha ha. After removing several tons of dirt, I revealed a huge pendulous arm. Oh, it's a clock. Oh my god, it's a clock. Maybe. And thank you, Scrapion. Thank you. I appreciate the streams are always a treat to listen to while I study. Nice. Thank you, thank you. As long as I don't scream. Further down, an enormous body. Many more tons later, and I've managed to finally free the entire thing and pivot it out onto the road. Oh, you dug up the excavator. With just a trowel? That's right, as incredible as it sounds, with just my trowel and shovel, I excavated this excavator. Wow. I'm sorry, Grandma. I shouldn't have underestimated you. You're kind of... something. Like, did she dig it all up in one go? Like, in one day? That's gotta be insane behavior, right? You should ask what her reps are. Dude, actually, come to think of it, I don't know what it is about... ...video games and grandmas lately. Like... Like, br Blind Drive, there was, um... Uh, ...Insane Grandma. And then there's Dead Grandma and Buddy Simulator. Like, what? what is it? People like grandmas. That's strange. I guess because it's quirkier than other options, I suppose. It's it's uh there's a there's a gap ish it's like haha grandma's weak she can't do anything and then turns out that she's an assassin or something grandma kept mowing it, yeah y yeah yeah Good, good. <laughs> Almost done, ninety seven per cent. Yeah, woohoo. I love my power washing. It's it's my passion. But power washers are pretty expensive, right? And also it's kind of a waste of water, which is why this is great, because you don't waste water. You just waste electricity. That's not as bad.
Oh, there it is. Oh, Meowk, thank you! Thanks for the chill stream! I usually listen to your stream while working, and in the beginning, only... Uh, I could only understand 5% of the English, but now I think it's improved to around 15, maybe. I hope it'll be 100% someday. Hey, uh, thank you. I think you'll get there, and honestly, it's impressive that your listening skill have improved to that point, just from listening. Like, how do you do it? Maybe it's kind of like watching anime. Like, you... But the thing is, at least anime has subtitles, but streams don't really have subtitles. Yeah, you learn most of your Japanese through anime. Yeah. But all you can say is, Oh! Kyukyu sha! Taskete kure! Onegai! I... Itterashai! Don't make fun of me like that. I'm not trying to make fun of you. I'm sorry that you're like that. There's nothing bad about it. Mada mada da ne. Yeah, things like that. Hello. Yeah, That's uh yeah. Or like ho Ho Yaru san The heck Good, okay, that's done. That is not done. She's doing the cliché anime lines again. No! I would never do such a thing. What kind of person do you take me for? I would never. Uh, let's see. Alright, that's good. Bucket cylinder. Bucket cylinder. Oh. Done. And brackets. The heck? Maybe it's on the other side? Oh, those are. Oh. And... I mean, what is left? Oh! Grandma Roni, give us wisdom. What kind of wisdom do you want? You gotta elaborate on these things, man. I can't just give you wisdom out of nowhere. Oh, there it is. This one was a lot more quick. Should I get Pepsi or Coke? Well... Well... If you are in... the United States, probably Coke. However, if you're in Canada, Pepsi. Why? Because I've been gaslit into liking Pepsi. Back then, I used to like Coke. 
but um, in Canada, I realized that they only offer Pepsi. Keep asking, oh, do you have Coke? They say, no, but we have Pepsi. Just say, oh, you know what? I'll just get that instead. And now I like Pepsi more. Now I ask for Pepsi instead of Coke. All right, let's see here. Beautiful. Look at that. And then... Ooh, welcome, Power Washer, to the home of splattered dreams and bruised egos, the Muckingham Mustangs paint bowl. I'm sure this commission must come as something of a surprise. After all, what alerts you to the fact that you're entering the fray better than being surrounded by the vestiges of years of combat? I, for one, feel the hairs on my neck, back, and shoulders bristle as soon as I see that minecart kicked in the misses of my enemies. Wow, this one's chuny. But needs must. We have a score to settle with the Detergento, Detergento Dragon Slayers, and for this, we're gonna need a completely spotless battlefield. 100 shots each, count the hits and the misses. One winner, no arguments. Okay. Oh, Mexican soda? Uh, what was it? Jarritos? I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah. I'm not a sentimental person. Nothing could be further from the truth, but it's still going to be sad seeing all these amazing memories get washed away. Yeah! Do you want to hear some stories about them? Sure! Yeah! Jarritos! I like it. I, I just missed it while looking at chat, but... Yeah! They're good! Dude, I always get them. Like, whenever I get the opportunity, and it's nice. I like, um... Honestly, I like all the flavors, but... Orange is pretty nice. I think that's usually my go-to. Oh, the lime. Yeah, the lime is pretty good, too. Honestly, you can't go wrong. There's like... Yeah. Uh, wasn't there, um, pineapple, too? Mexican hot chocolate. Yeah, those are... good, too, I think. I don't really remember if I've had them or not, actually. Maybe I haven't. No. Uh, maybe, maybe I didn't. Like, what is- what is it that's different, I suppose? Like, are there spices or, you know... Like, what's- uh, what's different from normal hot chocolate? Oh, it's spiced. Okay, okay. I thought I heard that from somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, cinnamon. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Should make some hot chocolate. It is the right season. I do have a confession to make. Well... You see... I don't think I've ever had hot chocolate... ...with milk. It's always been with hot water. So I don't know how it tastes like uh, when it's milk. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've had like cold, cold milk with chocolate syrup in it, but I've never had hot chocolate. Time to change that. How do I change it though? Do I microwave the milk and then put 
Hot chocolate powder? Blonde <laughs> paste. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. You... Okay. Mix both and then microwave? So, like, if you have it as cold milk, is that pretty much just... chocolate milk? No, 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 like, someone, someone told me that I should, like, um, like, mix them both and then put it in the microwave. Uh, that, that's what I saw from chat. You should eat the powder. Yeah, I ate the powder. That was pretty good. Warm the milk up first. Oh, interesting. Don't get one guide on chocolate. Hot chocolate, okay. Yeah. I'm sure it tastes much better or something. Well, I don't know about much better, but I'm pretty sure it tastes better than just hot water, right? It's way better. Huh. That's so new! It's game changing. That that good, huh? Do you have a preferred flavor of chocolate or just regular chocolate? I like um you know, when it's with milk. I like the chocolate syrup, so probably just regular chocolate, but as for normal chocolate, mm, I'd say dark. I mean in the end, I'll still eat whatever's there. Except maybe white chocolate. White chocolate used to be my favorite, but I've had it for years and years, and it just got too sweet for me, so now I just go for dark chocolate and then milk chocolate. Second. She became bitter. No, actually. You see, um... Well, this isn't scientific. But I've heard that people who like bitter things are actually sweet people. And people who like sweet things are pretty bitter. However, most of the time I'm a sweet tooth. What does that mean? Yeah, we're almost done with this. That's great. Mm-hmm. Can I whistle? No, I can't. I can't whistle. Oh, thank you, Fausti. Fausti? Get some powdered milk, two to three teaspoons, boil water, mix it in a cup with some spoons of chocolate powder, and add sugar. Thank me later. Using water instead of milk sounds like a quick trip to the bathroom. Okay, I mean, I know how to use it. Like, well, well not use it. I know how to make it with hot water, but I just never had it with milk. But thank you. That is, uh, solid advice to make hot chocolate. It 
It may just change your life. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't change my life. I think that's an over-exaggeration. Nothing... Nothing could change your life. Especially for food. It's only for food anime. Like, they have... Freaking white dragons and tigers after eating some food and have some childhood memories where like it it tastes just like their mother's um recipe before she passed away from a tragic accident or something like that food anime is crazy man Then they start breaking down. Most of the time, yeah, they break down. The judges. I mean, heck, even that cliche happened in Ratatouille. Ratatouille is anime. It's so anime. Isn't Spongebob food anime? Dude, all they're making is Krabby Patty. That's it. There's nothing. You don't want to try a Krabby Patty? I mean, Krusty Krab doesn't feel like a very hygienic place, you know? You feel me? And there are only a few episodes where people get their mind blown at having a Krabby Patty, but most of the time all they do is just eat it and be like, Huh, yeah, this is a burger. Better than the chum bucket. Hey, at least the chum bucket, aside from the food, it feels pretty clean. Because nobody ever goes there. <laughs> How do you think Krabby Patties are made? A happy little accident, which it really is. See that purple blob just on top of the cactus? Huh? That's probably my favorite splat here from back when... Back when were the Muckingham manticores. Purple blob just on top of the cactus? Where's the cactus? Miggy missed Captain of the Dragon Slayers had sprung out of the fort with only one thing in my mind. My demise. I, I mean my demise. So I instinctively searched into my signature forward roll. Dude, I don't care. I don't care about your Splatoon life. And do you know how many cactuses there are? Or, well, cacti? I don't... I don't care. I mean, uh, they're distracting me from my job, and it's annoying. If 
Why would I be jealous of Dan? Now why would I? I don't even know how much I'm getting paid for, anyway. Probably not a lot. But still. Like, dude kept it like this for... I don't even know. Oh, the bomb Cronster, if I can add something to inflate your ego. You're one of the few streamers I watch that has knowledge and culture equal, if not more than the chat. Sure, there's stuff you don't know, but overall, color me impressed. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks. Teehee. Oh, oh teehee. Knowledge and culture. I mean, I... I must be... wise beyond my ears. There is culture, there is tradition, there is love. Red rules. I don't care. I'm just here to clean. Man, I'm saying, Kuronichiba, Kuroni. Prepare uh, boiled hot water 200 mils and melt two to three pieces of 75% chocolate in it. When they're completely dissolved, add sugar to adjust the taste to your liking and then add cold milk to adjust it to the temperature to drink and done. That's how I do my cocoa. Oh. So many people do it differently. Really interesting. Have you ever tried condensed milk with hot choco? What choco? Hot cocoa, you mean? Yeah, but I know what you mean. Um, no. <laughs> it's always been very basic. It's always been just, um, uh, just hot water, powder, bam. Actually, it's been a while since I've had flavored milk, too. Like, chocolate milk, strawberry milk, those are so good! Like, the jug is great! Banana milk? Oh, I think I've tried that before! Yeah, those are pretty good, too! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange cream milk. Huh. That I have not tried. Yeah, I like flavored milk. Especially like chocolate milk, though. It's so... How should I say? Creamy? Rich? I something about it. It just hits. It hits... Good. Ooh, malted milk. I think I've only had that for milk tea. Oh god, hunky dunk. No. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> what song is this? Oh, nothing. It was just... Just made it up. Just a silly... Silly song. Has no meaning whatsoever. Nuh uh. Nothing dark. No. Just chill. No thoughts. Cows. Cows, cows, cows. Yeah. I don't know, but that- that song that I was humming, which, you know, is nothing special, by the way. Um, completely came up with it by myself, but I used to go back to it from time to time because it's so catchy. I don't know what it is with, like, catchy songs and messed up lyrics. Dude. Insane. Describe in every Vocaloid song. Not all of them. Some of them are good, you know? Actually, just completely wholesome. It's usually not so bad. Nesquik Strawberry Gang. I've never had that. I've had, um, chocolate? That's about it. No strawberry, though. Chocolate's the best one, though. Especially, um... I don't know, like, local milk or Costco? Costco chocolate milk? Damn! That's pretty good. Gotta stop talking about milk now. I don't know how long I've been on this tangent, so I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna focus on something else. Am I hungry? That can't be. I ate. Maybe I'm just craving for sweets now. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> That's clean. Ah, now you're making us hungry. Hmm, my bad. Dude, but I can't help it. I just get so excited when I'm talking about food. Food! Dude! It's one of the... One of the things in life that you look forward to. Food. I love food. Did you cook today? I love food. Dude. And sometimes people get surprised. I think I told you that story before, so I'm gonna skip, but I do eat quite a bit. Uh, recently I was hanging out with some friends and they were kind of shocked that I was eating so much. Dude, I should have been... Should have been a mukbanger. Mukbang! 
Mukbanger. No, I had like a hot pot. Man, I love hot pot. The spicy one is the best. Oh, now I want hot pot. Dude, what time is it? It's time for dinner. Yeah. Dude, hot pot's so good. And I love putting udon noodles there. That has to be my favorite. Oh man, udon noodles and then beef, obviously. Just gotta like put it in the soup a bit. And then you take it out, have it medium rare. Yum yum. Don't do that with pork, you'll die. Don't tell me what to do, woman. Alright, okay, die then. See if I care, but I warned you. The heck is he talking about now? So many epic adventures with Miggy. People would always say how evenly matched we were. It's incredible how many times it would end up with just two of us left battling it out. Always one eye on the prize. Okay. Fan artist, please draw for cronies, not crony. Okay. What does that mean? For my sake or for crony's sake? Abuelita. Oh. Dude, I love Udon so much. I think even recently, Iris was telling me, Man, you know, half the times that I've seen you, you've just been having Udon. You must really like it. It's like, yeah. And when I have um, instant noodles, I always put two packages of ramen. That's mandatory. Ramen versus Udon. Udon. Oh, but imagine! Udon noodles with ramen? Dude! Oh my god! That would be so amazing! I'm so hungry! Oh! Dude, that is such a genius idea. What do you think? Why is this not done? Oh. That explains a lot. Like at the same time? Yeah! Dude, that would be so incredible. Udon noodles with, like, ramen? Like the spicy ramen? Dude. Dude. I'm... So hungry. There's udon ramen, really? Oh. Okay, this is good. 45%? Heck yeah. Oh, 
Oh, Liquid Bishop, thank you. About a year ago, I was injured and was in the hospital for two months. I was stuck in bed for months, learning to walk again. Her screens helped me through that tough time. Just want to say thanks for being you on my one year membership anniversary. Aww. Thank you. And I hope you recover as much as you were able to. <laughs> Dolph Nip gear. <laughs> Fine, I'll go make some food. I've been putting off dinner for hours now, but I can't take it anymore. <laughs> Dude, when you're with me, you don't have to worry about starving yourself. Don't worry. Dude, I love food. But the thing is with me, I just eat a lot. And survive with just that for the day. So pretty much, I just... I just store. I inhale everything. And then I'm good for the entire day. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I guess I'm like a camel, yeah. And, um, you know, I really do like Kirby, so, um, my friends recently were saying, I see why it's your favorite character now. Hehe. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Anaki power washing. It ain't much unless you count the mental weight of having to listen to unprompted stories about excavating cat ladies and lost loves on the battlefield. But it's on this work and now I'm hungry. It's pretty accurate. Accurate. Because you know how rough it is to just power wash? Hours and hours. Oh, what? Maybe earning... 200 bucks for this entire arena? Thanks, Dan. Do I prefer salty or sweet? Mmm. Sweet, I'd say. But only for desserts. If it's with food, I like spicy. Maybe not too spicy, but... Yeah. As for tea, I don't mind if it's bitter. I'm pretty open-minded about tea. Coffee is a no-no, though. Ma'am, you're reminding me that I skipped my breakfast. Well... Maybe you should eat. You should eat now. That's okay, I don't really eat breakfast. Like... Yeah, recently I haven't really been sleeping well, I suppose. So I just <laughs> wake up at like six, seven p.m. But I stay up for maybe until like 8 a.m. or something.
Yeah. Hopefully it's gonna go back to normal. It's, 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 it's all about baby steps. It'll, it'll get better eventually. How do we fix it? I can't be saved. It's over for me. You, you have to let me go. I'm a lost cause. On the inner wall of Fort Blue is a purple doubler. Huh? I take it out both of Miggy's lieutenants with a single sh- Oh god, here we go again. I don't care, Dan. I don't care about what you did. I care about the buildings, maybe. I think that's interesting, because there's some story behind that, but I don't want to hear your story. I don't care how cool and awesome you are. I don't care. That's when our relationship changed. Did you get married or something? What happened? Actually, I don't care. Don't talk to me. Love bloomed on the battlefield, or something like that. Cool story, bro. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Alright, let's see. Good. Coast is clear. Adios. But am I really being rude? Dan's just bragging about himself. It's annoying. At least Marie was like, Oh, you know, I got this trowel and I started digging. I found this excavator. It was amazing. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, Grandma. It's about, oh, yeah, I did like a 360 no scope and then we started laughing and the relationship changed and we got married after that, had four kids, and now it's a family business, or yada yada yada. Okay. Good. Cool. Oh, Kronichi, what's up? Thank you, Park Coach. Started drinking vin chaud to keep warm. To keep my throat warm. It's really good, as you recommend it, and in my country, there are some ramen called naguri. Uh, it includes ramen-based soup, but noodles are made of udon. Oh my god! Bro! That sounds amazing! That is like my dream. Dude. Mm. Hi, Crony. I have a new hobby of putting the games you played on the wish list and buying them when on sale. Want to try them all someday? Thank you for sharing us a lot of fun games. Yeah, of course, man. I can't wait to show you all the new other games that I found. But first, I got a power wash, you're right. Mm -hmm. 
68% done. Dude, after this, it's over. There's nothing else. And then we'll have to wait until uh, the other updates come out, like Warhammer. No, it'll be a short stream. I don't think it'll be a short stream. How long has it been? I think it's been pretty good. Like two hours? Yeah, that's not... that's not short. Do you eat sushi? And is there a favorite one? I love... I love fish. As long as it's fish... I don't care. I just... Just fish. Give me fish. Did you try fugu? I don't think I've tried fugu. Or maybe I have no Oh wait, no, I've tried fugu, but not as a sushi thing. But yeah, as long as it's fish, I'm willing to try them all. Or like even eggs. Ooh. Dude. Oh, thank you, Mr. Death the Kid Egg, for the rainbow soup. Thank you. Oh, Tihee. Yeah, I was hoping that it would turn out. I mean, I've already, like, said it, but you know. I'd like to think that the singing got better-ish. But maybe next year will be even better as a thing! Yeah! That's what I'm most excited about. Ugh. Oh, dude, I I only want to do karaoke when I know that I can, you know, be good. Also, I need to learn new songs is a thing, so... Like, I made a list for songs that I should learn uh, so that I can sing it for karaoke. Eek. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Any new songs on the list if you're planning on some karaoke? Well, I don't want to raise any expectations. So... Did wanna learn them? Um, I'll tell you one. I guess, uh, welcome to the Black Parade. Like, I'm gonna learn some older songs, honestly. When I was a young boy, yeah. Bro, I can't help it though. I don't listen to recent music. I don't know what 
music nowadays is like... Except maybe things that are so popular that it gets memed about. <laughs> Idol. This way? Yeah. Come on, man. Thank you. <laughs> oh, yeah, that song. Dude, that song was stuck in my head. Sama sama jenu, do 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 Life really is too short and you have to learn to seize the day. Alright, you gonna tell me about how you two got married or something? You and... What was it? Miggy? You see, Miggy told us all the other day that this is to be his final battle ever. Okay. Are you two gonna get married? Just wish I'd have told him what he meant to me before it was too late. Dude. Did he pull an anime where he got killed by freaking paintball? I think that happens sometimes in sports anime too. Like, oh. He, he died while playing baseball or something stupid like that. Because the baseball caught on fire because this one person threw it too hard and there was space and galaxies and and I don't even know That's just sports anime in general. That's pretty much anything in general. Any uh, normal stuff. Supposedly normal stuff. It just goes wrong immediately. It's like, oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just baking bread. Teehee. And then as time goes on, they start crying because it reminds me of their um, dead parents. And then there are legendary creatures popping out and they say, Wow, what amazing technique! I have never seen that move ever since the champion. But he mysteriously disappeared after 1984. Something stupid like that. It's always something stupid. Basically describe most sports anime. You know, the ironic part is I don't watch sports anime. <laughs> I've only watched them. Um, Shonen? Yeah. Like, I think I watched a bit of, uh, Rama, then I decided to just read it. 
I think it was better as a manga. But then again, I'm a little biased because I read the manga more, so... Just how old is your shounen anime? Um, Inuyasha? <laughs> uh, yeah? Okay, my most recent one would be, um... Okay, well, not all of them are shounen, because, you know, there's Puella Megi Madoka Majika. So... That's not shounen, so there's that. Um... What's a... What's a recent one? Um... Tokyo Ghoul, I guess? Um... Devil Man Cry Baby? I really like that one. Even though the animation is a little questionable. Both are seinen? Wait, what's the difference? Is seinen more for like... More for adults? Oh. I see. Shoot. Uh... Okay, but Tokyo Ghoul is shonen, right? Or is that seinen? It's seinen? Okay. Well, shoot. Damn. I guess it's been seinen all this time. Damn. Shonen. I've watched a bit of One Piece. I stopped, um, right around the Sky Island arc. And then I stopped. I think if I were to have any hopes of catching up, I would have to read the manga. Rather than the anime, I feel like. Anime's a little too daunting at the moment. I watched. Skip the fillers. Huh. I heard that one piece is gonna be it done in about two years, was it? And Oda already has a an ending in mind. Yeah, it's in the final arc, yeah. Well, it's a good thing that, you know, there's an ending in mind, at the very least, and it's not like Detective Conan. That... that one will genuinely not end. Mm-hmm... Alright, this... Nice. What recent stuff do you watch? Um... Erased? <laughs> um... 
watch that last year again? Um... Um... <laughs> Grace is eight years old. Um... It is a good show, right? Um... I... Um... I've been reading webtoons, so I wouldn't know. And honestly, for webtoons, it's been up and down. I did finish, um... I did not finish, I caught up. <sighs> More villainous webtoons. Yeah. That's, that's a very common cliché. But it's a cliché that I keep going back to, I don't know why, it's so... It's like... It's like junk food. Can't... Help... Consume. And if the art is nice, I mean... Who am I to say otherwise? Yeah, but each of them are about, like, 74 chapters. Or, like, 40-something chapters, so... How long does it take for you to burn through that? Um... Well, during my off time, I, uh... The entire day? <laughs> I don't do it every week, obviously. Um... I've just had this backlog, um, on my phone, like, with multiple tabs open... ...for about... ...three months now? And it used to be, like, 40-something tabs open, each with, like, between 40 to 70 chapters, and... Now I've, um... ...compressed it down to- oh, it wasn't 30, it was, like, 40-something. But now I've, um... ...went down to 17. So I'm making progress, bit by bit. How does your phone not crash with that many tabs open? Well, you can group them, so that's what I've been doing. Do, 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 do. Yeah, and it doesn't always load everything, yeah. Battery does seem to die quickly, but it's so worth it. The thing is, though, I don't even like Shoujo. <laughs> I don't know why I'm reading it. It's just, I get so... I just like the idea of isekai. Like, I don't like romance. I think, even when I read books, if, if the story revolves around Romance mostly? I don't like it. Kind of like Divergent. Because the premise was interesting for Divergent. Sure, it was kind of cliche and whatever because all the survival thing was in and Divergent was exactly one of that. But I thought the premise was, you know, interesting enough for me to get started. And then suddenly this 
Eleven? Was this guy named Eleven or something? Started, like, revolving around that more and more? I didn't like it. Like, it's it's one of those, like, Hey, yeah, what's up? I'm, I'm pretty... I'm pretty handsome and everything. And... You said a little kitten like you is lost. Let me guide you. Then you fall in love. And then this your average schoolgirl isn't so normal. Oh thank you, number 1729. Yeah, but anyway, I dropped Divergent after that. Because it focused on romance too much. And then it got made into a movie later on, so I was like, wow, really? And then the, what was it? City of Ashes? That one, the premise was okay too, and then it started leaning more into romance, and then I dropped it. I dropped that too. Yeah... I did the same thing with Hunger Games- well, actually! Funny thing about Hunger Games, I read it before it got popular, but for me, um, I like the way- I like the writing style. The other ones I mentioned, they were okay. I didn't really- I wasn't really a fan. I just read it, because why not? But, uh, Hunger Games, I liked it, and, uh, um, well, it's been a while since Hunger Games came out, so, um, the main character kind of used romance as a way of survival. Or at least in the beginning. So, that's why I was okay with it. And in the end, it's still focused on survival, because they're still gonna die. So I was okay with it. And then, um, yeah, they, there was still action, there was still death, so I was okay with that. First is a classic, second is the best, third was weird. I agree. Um, third one was very rushed. Kind of came out of the blue. I don't even know why. I think they're having a new movie too, you know, it's kind of a prequel where it features President Snow, so maybe I'll go watch that. Even the third movie was mid. I'm not surprised! Because the uh, third one... yeah. Like, if I look at my books... Like, I know which book I've read the most, because for Warriors, I think, uh, because I had paperback, too. And the first book for Warriors, that's, like, pretty well-worn. Like, a little bit of tears here and there, because, you know, a bit of damage on the spine, because I read that a lot. And then Hunger Games, the first one was the same, too. And then second one still had some, and last one was like, what the heck? Like Hunger Games, I read that multiple times, and then Catching Fire a little less than that, but still quite a bit. And then uh, the third one twice. <laughs> Mm, fence post. People reread books? Yeah! They really like him. Detective Kona is so good, you should definitely read it. It's long and ongoing, so you never run out of content. It's always interesting and mysterious. It's good, I swear. I'm not just asking, so I have someone to talk about it with. I know, you have the... the Kaito Kin icon. 
I've noticed. And you need help. You need- you need help. It's hopeless. I'm gonna be brutally honest with you. And I think you understand, too. Detective Conan... Nothing- nothing really changes. Almost every episode is like a filler. Like, someone- someone comes in to request for help with an investigation, and, uh, what was his name? Kogoro? Mori Kogoro? Yeah, that's a- that's a guy. And he's like, oh yeah, I'm so smart! Um, like, initially he's grumpy, but then the- the person requesting for help is like, Oh, but you're so amazing! You're so good with investigations! And he starts laughing in that way that he does. It's like, yeah, I am pretty one of a kind! Yeah, okay, sure, I'll help you solve your case. And then Conan just tags along and goes, Alele! Alele! What's this? And then shoots shoots the guy with his watch and solves a mystery and it's usually some it's either the person who requested for help or it's this fragile looking young woman it's like no no i can't be i can never be um the the suspect and then the music kicks in like ooh, ooh, and they break down and say i hated him that's right he deserved to die. And it's either like that, or uh, one of the witnesses say, Oh, but you know, it was all a misunderstanding because they said this before they died and he just killed someone for no reason. And then she breaks down. It was like, Oh my God, what have I done? And the show ends. Imagine going on a trip and there's Conan and the gangs. Yeah, it's over. It's over. They just go on trips just so that someone can die. It's pretty messed up. Oh yeah, and sometimes they try to make it interesting by bringing up um the, the black organization. Or like, oh, who's this? Named after a bunch of alcohol? Oh, you're wine? I'm whiskey? You're bourbon? That's crazy, I'm... I'm tequila or something, I don't even know. Like, you know, I used to be tequila, but now I'm just Sam or something. I don't... I was... And then, recently, it's been, you know... Oh, the boss is actually revealed and whatever... Yeah, good luck with that. Reveal my butt. What the heck is the... What the heck is the door? Oh, I'm Sake. Yeah, I'm Soju. Pick your black organization OC. I'm Soju. I'm Whiskey. I'm Sake. I'm... What else was there? Margarita. Anyway, where the heck is this door? Oh. No, bourbon's already taken, I'm sorry. Is tonic? No. no tonic's not an alcohol, what am I saying? If I read The Hobbit... Um, I had it? Um, I couldn't get past the first page. I thought I would like it, but...
but I guess it wasn't really my cup of tea yet. The first- yeah, I fell asleep. It was like a spell. I'm sorry. There's- there's something about me and, you know, Tolkien's works. It's- 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 it's a me problem. The series are good. It's great. Like the, you know, but the movie, for example, it's great. Like, wow, it's so great. But Sally fell asleep and then I tried to stay awake and then I fell asleep. I woke up. I was still like a quarter way into the movie and I thought to myself, okay, that's impossible. So yeah, it really is a preference and that's okay. There are things where, you know, people can focus and things people can't, you know. It's a preference thing. There's nothing bad about it, it's just people are different. Like, people really like Star Wars and Star Trek and space related things. I think it's cool. But I've never watched Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Not even the OG ones? No. And I didn't even watch Space Jam. Like, I just know a lot of the memes, but that's it. And I had the VHS too, but I just never watched it. I know it was popular though, because um, it's pretty worn out. Outer walls. dead to me. Hey, don't say that. Hey. I'm just being honest. That's why I don't say anything, because once I actually start saying things, you guys are like, oh my god, how could you? You're insane. You're a sociopath or something. You hurt our feelings. Hey, but you... You don't watch some of the things that I watch. Like, have you watched Alice in Borderlands? Yeah, that's what I thought. Some of you have. Not all of you. Watch? Isn't that a game? No, it's not. I watched- I read the manga before it was popular. Well, you know, I'm proud of you. But did you know that there was a sequel to it? Where he goes back to the borderland. Bet you didn't know that, huh? Yeah, that's right. I know. I know that. Fake fan. If you're curious, go look it up as to how that happened. I'm not gonna tell you that. Oh, my legs. Oh, my leg. I mean, that's probably why, um, the ending for the live action was so open-ended. 
Uh, there is probably that reason. Why is it not shining? Mine track. This one. Oh. Nope. Oh, cartwheel. Uh, there we go. And then a mine post. Let me just highlight that. Okay. Nice. And that's it! Great job at the paintball! It's absolutely spotless! I can't wait to serve it to Miggy one last time. I'm sure he's been working on this strategy for this all week, but I've come up with a new maneuver for which there is no defense. Bring it on! Good for you. Wish you the best of luck. Beautiful. Yeah, they end on a cliffhanger with Dan. So, that's one way. No, we've already done these. Don't even. And that's good. This is good. Research study. Wow. Now it's so done. It's over. There's nothing to do. All right. This been good cleaning. Uh, just gotta wait for a Warhammer now. Okay, let's go. Let's go now. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 Gotta take this off now. What if Warhammer is the last expansion? I don't think so. Because Power Wash is so good. It's so popular. There's no way that they're gonna just end it like that. The devs love the game a lot. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, and Back to the Future, I remember. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. When is crony stage gonna be added? That would be funny. But nah. Who knows? Maybe one day if they allow mods or something. Well, not mods, but like user created stuff. Maybe it's possible. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. 
the devs like me, I hope they do. Tee <laughs> hee. Start reading the supers now. Yeah. Uh, to those who have to leave, thank you, thank you. And uh, yeah, I, I did watch parts of the Caribbean. Um. Yeah. I didn't do a wiki dive, although I did into you know after watching everything to make sure that I didn't miss anything else that's just, that's kind of what I do how many um just like the main ones I didn't watch any of the future ones I think um, I stopped after the third or fourth uh the one with uh Davy Jones and Orlando Bloom and Barbosa, yeah. Calypso. Okay, so just three, yeah. It probably at World's End. I think that would be the last one. Okay. Yeah, that it's the it's the third. I watched um the trilogy. Yeah, those were good. I liked them. And then I don't watch anything else that came out because uh the OG in my personal opinion is the trilogy. Mm-mm. Yeah. Oh yeah, the the soundtrack it slaps. You'd be a great Star Wars fan. It'd be it'd be difficult to keep up with everything though, because. If you get into Star Wars, you have to watch all the other ones, and then you have to watch all the other spin-offs. Heck, maybe even The Mandalorian. Why not? I guess. You can just wiki dive. I've done it before. <laughs> I've done that before. Yeah, I feel like Star Wars is harder to wiki dive, dude. But I did that. I did that for um, I did that for Omni Man, for example, and then for Star Wars, I looked into Boba Fett because uh, seemed like a really cool character, so I was looking into that. Yeah. Yeah, I wiki dived Invincible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because Invincible's too violent, and I get scared. I, I don't like gore. Yeah. Just watch the first six Star Wars movies. Dude, six movies, bro. Oh no! Have you wiki dived about the thing? The thing? That's a movie, right? Jesus. Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, I haven't. I haven't done a wiki dive of this. I have, um, 
done a wiki dive of uh, It Follows. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I like to do wiki dives because I don't really have the time to watch a movie. Obviously, I don't talk about what I haven't watched before. Because, you know, why would I? Because people are going to be like, Oh, I can't believe you want to watch that. Blah, 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 blah. But, yeah, you'd be surprised. I <laughs> don't really watch a lot of things. A wiki dive of unsolved Japanese mysteries is really fun. Oh! Ooh, yeah, Unsolved Mysteries, Mysteries in general, it's pretty fun, yeah. Yeah, nowadays I'll only watch movies if it's like, you know, watching with other people, really. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, and like, I guess for watching stuff with like, Unsolved Mysteries kind of thing, um, was it? Like they're... I can't really remember off the top of my head, but Nexpo is pretty good. I I like watching that. And then there were like other similar things. Chill Fuel was it? They're also really good. Is it Chill Fuel? Yeah, they're pretty good too. The editing is really nice for Chill Fuel. Uh, Into the Rabbit Hole, that too. And then, um... Uh, what's the other one? Uh, what's, what's the other one? Oh, explore with us. Yeah, that one too. That one is pretty good. Oh, hello! Yeah, mysteries. I like. I tend to watch a lot of those. And take a look actually. Yeah, yeah. How many mystery stuff do I have? One, two, uh, three, four, five. Okay, I follow like five channels that deals with mysteries. <laughs> I'm such a mystery. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. Are you a murder mystery junkie? Uh, not. I wouldn't really call myself that. Honestly, I just. just like looking into mysteries. I don't really want to say like, oh yeah, I love murder mysteries and whatnot because, you know, this is actually dealing with people who uh, passed away from unfortunate events, so I don't really want to, I guess, say that because, you know, it's not just fiction. You don't have to call me out like that, man. Oh, I'm just saying. Mm, but I guess 
uh, I do kind of watch it and think, wow, gotta be careful. This world is messed up. I can't trust anyone at the end of the day. Oh my god. Yeah. Not even myself. Yeah, not even myself. It makes me paranoid sometimes. Mood. Mood. Yeah. It's... yeah. Unsolved Mysteries, I watch those. Um, you know, crime cases, I watch those too. And I often like the ones where, um, how should I say, like, they're a lot more educational, um, as to, like, why it might happen. Like, obviously, what they've done is inexcusable, but, you know, like, they had, like, a bad like environment growing up or something their parents and whatnot and i kind of like that instead of just this person killed someone they are they are they are just pure monsters and uh, they should die like yeah like the crime the crime in itself is very bad and for that action they should be punished but I guess, in order to reduce these things from happening again, you have to make better intervention programs. I think. Just like, have more programs uh, from an early age so that you can reduce recidivism. Mm -mm. Like, instead of just pointing fingers and saying, wow, what a monster. I think we gotta kind of learn from the experience and make sure that we can, how should I say, revise the law, even though it's kind of difficult. Mm -mm -mm. So that's, that's what I think, but it is obviously difficult to change the law and it, <sighs> but hopefully it'll get better over time with more case laws and whatnot. Yeah. But you aren't a law-abiding citizen, that's right! I'm not! Do not vote for me. I swear, I will cry. <laughs> not cry for joy, I will cry in fear. And then I'll step down. <laughs> I'll cry from the pressure. Dude, I'd be so scared. I'd be so scared. I would say something like, dude. I didn't even run for president. What happened? I'm scared. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit. Just do another election. I'm gonna run away. If I can't, if I can't step down, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> and then I'll just come, come back under a different persona. Like, hello, it's me. Uh. Boro Brony. I don't know. No. Oh, Gander Crony? Oh, Gander. 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 Bro. Gander, bro. Yeah, that that would be that would be nice. But yeah, I 
anyway, I would, I would just quit. But anyway, that's, that's how I feel. I do like mysteries though. It makes me, uh, I guess, learn. And especially for solved cases too, I can see how uh, they use certain strategies to make people confess. Yeah, I like watching those too. Like, you know. It's investigation process is interesting. Uh, what about more supernatural stuff? Mm, kind of? Mm. Oh, I've watched the JCS videos. Yeah, yeah. Let's start reading the supas now. Mm, Kuroni. Misashi san. Kuroni chiban. Yeah, but JCS is pretty interesting too. Mm -hmm. Thank you to Bryce to, to start us off. I do enjoy how these power watch streams are always a good excuse for having something to do while having some good conversation. By the way, how's your jet lag? Jet lag is good. Jet lag, I'm cured. However, now I'm just suffering. To be very honest, guys, I have to tell you that I've been practicing Age of Empires 2 ever since uh, the last time and and I've been having nightmares <laughs> ever since that happened I I keep having dreams about about war like battling and like, the, the armies always move in an Age of Empires way. And... I don't know, I'm just having nightmares and I wake up. And if I get angry at the game, for example, um... Oh man. Like, I got mad at my enemy army. And then I was, I was, I was getting angry, and then I went to sleep, and I, uh, yeah, I, it, it was really random, like, I guess to, <laughs> let me, let me just, like, put it like this, in my dream, there were, like, two, uh, middle-aged ladies like strolling on by and they rudely like bumped into me as hard as they could and I was I was being racist in a way because I said I didn't even swear I was like watch it you Canadian <laughs> watch it Canadians and then it, you know <laughs> <laughs> and then they they got angry yeah 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 i guess i guess i'll be i'll be honest like oh heck why not like, I don't even know, like, what the bad word is, but, you know, I, I just said, like, WATCH IT, CANADIAN! Pretty much. But, um... I know there are some... French people out there. I didn't fight against French people... in Age of Empires. I don't even know if they have it, but... these people, like, with that analogy in mind... like, they, like, bumped into me... I said, watch it, French! <laughs> watch it! And then, um, this lady, like, ran over. 
like one of the two ran over and they grabbed my mouth and like people started crowding around and I asked one of them like like be sure to film this you guys like one of you film this and um things were going down and yeah, for some reason, um, the lady said something like, Oh, my son passed away. Um, that's why, like, I reacted even more. Or, or something like that. Or, like, that's why I was feeling more sensitive. And I suddenly felt bad. And I said, You know what? I forgive you. Yeah. Because I was, you know, when, when she grabbed my mouth, I was like, Dude! Like, someone be sure to film this. I'm going to, I'm going to <laughs> press legal charges on you and fighting. And she said that. I felt bad. I said, I won't press legal charges on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to hear that. And uh, whoever was filming, um, please don't upload it. Thank you very much. And we, we hugged it out we had like a good resolution and then the next day that very person uploaded the video and it went viral and it exposed um the the people involved the lady and myself and the person who uploaded it and i was like oh shoot what am i supposed to do and I had another dream, but that was like a lot. That, that was like more horror related, but yeah. I woke up. So, Age of Empires has been ruining my life lately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is a dream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why I was saying things like, I'm gonna press legal charges against you and, uh, you know, be sure to film this. I don't even know how that, like, devolved into whatever that was. Man. It is the trauma. Ah. But anyway, that's... that's really it. That's... My nightmares. I don't know, sometimes... <sighs> my dreams... I think... I've had... I've had multiple dreams where... I would... Keep waking up. It's really painful, you know? It's like Inception. Like... I imagine myself getting up from bed and then I wake up and I'm in bed. So I keep getting up and walking and I and I do that like maybe 30 times. It's like groundhog day pretty much. And sometimes I get far enough I almost have breakfast or lunch and then I wake up again. I'm thinking, man, I just want to wake up. Why can't I wake up? Yeah, like, I I went so far this time and that was still a dream. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. How do you know you aren't still dreaming? Uh, when it doesn't repeat. <laughs> Yeah. But uh, that one doesn't happen too often. Maybe like once every few years. Yeah. But it's it's kind of painful. Oh. Have you ever continued a dream? 
have. I have. Like, if I really like a dream, I go back to sleep. But by then, sometimes it connects, but most often I have to force it. So it's not really legit. Yeah. <laughs> How do you force it? Well, you kind of make up the plot yourself. And I don't know if that's lucid dreaming. I don't think so. Because you're not really in deep sleep because of that. Yeah, but... It is? But like, I'm not really aware that it's a dream. It's just I can make up the dream is the thing. Oh. Eh, I'm not really in control of the dream though. Like, you know, for example, you're it ends on, it ends on a cliffhanger as in you're hanging on by by a branch on a cliff like a cliffhanger and then I wake up and I think man that dream was so interesting I want to go back and then I go back and I imagine that uh, there's like a ocean underneath so I let the branch go and I survive the fall and I go from there kind of thing but that's not really a legit dream. That's lucid dreaming? Dream about villainous webtoons. I can't do that. My dreams are never about villainous isekai webtoons. Oh, cool. I mean, what's the point? What's the point if I can lucid dream? I can't do anything special with it. Ugh. Yeah. Sometimes I have multiple dreams at once too, which is kind of tiring. Like, at one point, for a few months, I would have an average of like two to five dreams. So, I get really tired when I wake up. What the heck is dream drifting? Is that an actual term? I haven't had sleep paralysis, no. Oh, you made it up, okay. <sighs> dream drop distancing, man. I feel like I don't really dream. I think it's good. Honestly, getting dreams are overrated. I don't recommend it. As someone who dreams from time to time, it is... It gets you so tired when you wake up. Dreams are cringe, indeed. Do you have the experience in dreams where you try to run and can't? No, I don't run. Maybe, maybe I've had dreams of running when I was younger, but nowadays it's mostly fighting. <laughs> but I guess it shows that I've changed. 
I just fight. You know, as you can tell. <laughs> like, film this right now. Upload it. I'm gonna press charges against you. Uh, yeah. Extreme violence. Let's go! Yeah, I've had dreams of falling, yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, I'm gonna... I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read! Uh, thank you to B Faction. Hey, Crotty. Say resources. Now say borrow. Now say iron. Say about. Say zed. Yep, I knew it. She's terminally Canadian. Resources? I know the about thing is like about. But I don't say that. I don't say it in that way. About. About. Resources. Resources? 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 Resources. Resources? Escape. Resources. Resources? Resource. What? Reese's. Reese's. Escape. Escape. Escape? Is it escape? Gotta escape. I got. I, I gotta escape. 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 I'm gonna say it. Escape. Escape. Wait, but resources is fine, right? Resources and about. Resources and about. Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. No, I'm not terminally Canadian if that's the case. <sighs> Fish monja. You say resources like resources. How else? Resources? Resources! Resources! I need my resources? Is that it? Resources? I need my resources. 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 That sounds so weird. Resources. I acquire more resources. Resources. Dude, that's so weird. Mischievous is pronounced as mischievous. Thank you, that's so helpful. Uh, whatever. Resources is a Canadian thing, and resources is an American thing? Is it?
ko? I see. Huh. Whatever, whatever. This this is confusing me. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, big the cat in the hat. Thank you, thank you. Best of luck to you, man. We can all get through this. Mm -mm. When in doubt, go fishing. And R, thank you. And you, Nate, thank you, thank you. Oh, I don't know about that. Still seems like the same color, but thank you. Uh, Neo Matrix, thank you. And Cloud Rain slash Blessed Archdemon. Thank you, thank you. Noodle Arms Duo. Oh. Yeah, the Guy Mori was, um, cool. I only knew the chorus before, so... It's good that now I know the song. Mm -hmm. And Shannon. Hey, Crony, how have you been? Do anything cool over the weekend or just more work? Also, just want to say that you're the greatest. Actually, you're not just great. You're number one. I'm number one. Yeah. And B faction, good stream. Thank you. But it wasn't over. Sam goes by, but get in training. Thank you. Mm. Ready to be taken into Sleepy Town. Yeah. I don't really put music on, because you can't hear the power washing as much if there's no music. I mean, I, if, if there is music, I can't talk today. When can I ever talk? Uh, Zimki, thank you! And Ninebreaker, we're finally back to the origin story of Clean Aroni or Wash Aroni. Uh, really comfy and cozy to listen to, no matter what the topic or rambling is. I can listen to that smooth voice of yours for days on end. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hear that. It's it's the best part. And avenge me. Thank you. And man who sang. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Crony, what are we gonna clean today? All the stuff. Three things. Uh, I'm sure this will be another chill stream, and the chat is gone for a bit. And anyway, big shout to my bro, Boros is strong. Wish him a happy birthday on the 27th. Can you do it in your sexy Onesan voice? Boros is strong. <gasps> Ab. Duh. Ab head head <laughs> and yeah, I hope you have a great one. And aquatic lettuce. Thank you, thank you. Best of luck. Mm -mm. And Star Mech had my birthday two days ago and I celebrated it by ordering a custom crony style cake which got delayed but should be getting it soon. Got much love from fellow cronies. Here's some money by the way. Thank you. You gotta show me how it looks. And that sounds really cool just from the sound of it. And Amelia what's off? Defective extraordinaire. Thank you. Yeah, people are going through some rough times, huh? Hey man, it's okay. This year's gonna end soon. In less than... Well... Less than three months, really. So don't worry. It'll all be over. Next year will be my year. I wouldn't say that. I would never say such thing, because that sets an expectation, but... Maybe there will be some changes, good and bad. Hopefully more good than bad. The last two months gonna be my year, yeah? How? You gonna win the lottery or something? And... Or 
orange robot. Thank you, thank you. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. You're such a good robot. You're gonna, you're gonna get that job. You're gonna organize so good. And gravity penguin. Recommended some of the food, so mm. Mentaiko uh, Onigiri is pretty good too. So, mm -mm. and I'm a snail, yeah. Good that nobody's injured once again, but yeah, yeah. Hope everything's okay, but yeah, that sucks. And Big the Cat in the Hat, thank you. And Trouble, thank you. Crony would never lie to us. And she loves us, I can tell, Ka. No. No, sometimes I will tell you white lies. Nobody can be fully honest after all. I've been... I've been lying to you all this time. Crony is lying right now. She loves us. Oh, I, I don't know what to say. Well, it's, it's, it's okay. You're, she's lying about lying. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Yeah, you can you can think however however you want. I won't say anything. Mm -hmm. Make of it what you will. <laughs> no, but one thing I can say for sure is that we have a lot of fun here. It's good. Do Setsuna, thank you, thank you. And Boss Assassin 806, thank you. And Dingo Ringo, thank you. What's your go-to sweet treat? Like um chocolate. I like chocolate. Um almond. Chocolate with almond or hazelnut, that's pretty good. Um, Pocky is pretty decent too. I like it. I like chocolate that melts in your mouth. Oh, like Lindor chocolate. Yeah. I like that. I like how the inside of Lindor is always so like, how should I say cool? Like not cold, but cool. Like no matter where you put it. That's great. And see. And Tav, thank you once again. Hupta. And Rice, thank you. I'll try. Thank you. And what the? Oh, okay. There's another chair, dude. Dude, unknown chair has a competition. Crony's chair, yo. And Corona. Thank, thank you once again. The talking about this during stream but yeah it's a secret 
and ZX in Candice Aroni. Power wash streams like these are extra comfy after a long work day. It's been some time since the last one three months ago and the last solo power wash was a month before that. Thanks for always giving us streams to look forward to. Thank you. And Marizumi the cute crony. Oh, cute crony? I like the confidence. Yeah, keep it up, man. And Super Zero, thank you. And Wing CV. Could you imagine coming out of the shower and you know you're done because you shined a moment and dinged? Would be awesome. Awesome feature. Why does no one implement it? And Rona, if you didn't disappear anyone, care to explain where Sing Roni is? Dude, what do you guys like? Sing Roni so much. What about like Crony and the funny Roni and Wash Roni? Why do you guys like Sing Roni so much? Like, whenever I see messages here, it's always, oh, Sing Roni's so cute. Where is she? And then did a poll and. I think it was Crony that won. So, like, what was that? Did I get some support for Crony? That poll had outside influence. Really? How? That was a public poll. <laughs> You guys are just gonna rig it! Uh, you guys are just gonna coordinate. Saying Roni was winning for so long and the Crony took the lead. Sure, okay. This discussion was over, and and you guys are still hung up about saying Roni. Come on, Roni's alt accounts. Yeah, she has like 500 alt accounts. Tate Aniki, reasons to throw soup tins out the window instead of putting it in the trash. One, I don't like the flavor. Two, the open window is right there. I have to walk ten more steps to put it in the trash. Green. Yeah. Got some, like, sick skills. Throwing hoops. And Scrapian, once again, thank you. I hope your study's going well. And Maro, Crony, I'm getting a coffee right now. You want something? Um, it's probably too late, but I would like green tea. Yeah. yeah green tea would be good. What else? Oh, no. I want a matcha green tea latte um, with less ice. And mm, extra syrup. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let's go with Grande. Though, you know, if you can get me Venti, that's okay too. Crony, this is not a Starbucks. Why not? Why not? Or, well, since it's almost the holidays, I'd like a steamed eggnog with vanilla syrup. Mmm, yum. Thank you. And uh, thank you to Myok. Thank you. And a shoe Kurohana, thank you. And Taco Curse, 
Crony, I think you should stop watching Crony streams. I see you in every stream. You might be a little addicted. Oh. It's okay. It's... It's just her keeping tabs on me to make sure I'm not up to no good and whatnot. Which I would never. I would never do such a thing. Crazy. She's just kind of paranoid like that. And Fausti, thank you. And Kurizora, thank you. Um, I'm surprised not even the fast food chains in your part of Canada doesn't have a hot cocoa with milk. Um, the thing is, I don't really order hot cocoa um, in stores because, you know, I'm just thinking I can easily make it at home. Why would I buy it? It's kind of a waste of money. Like, I already have, like, an entire jar of, like, cocoa powder. Yeah. Yeah, but you keep making it wrong. I'm not making it wrong. I've always had um the hot cocoa with hot water. I thought that was the only way. But I've heard people saying that, you know, they use milk and it's a lot more rich and creamy. So It's the worst no, no, no. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you to Trouble and Spooky. Thank you. I should try it. I don't know if I have any um, cocoa powder though. Maybe I should get some. Dingo Ringo. Not sure, as someone who used to be allergic to eggs, eating eggs has changed my life and opened up a whole world of food. Oh, so you're better now? Hey, that's good. Oh, oh, it's bugging. Oh, heck yeah, it's ticking. Oh, let's go. <gasps> Yo, it's like a Yo. Whoa. Whoa. Do let's go. I'm scared. I just changed clothes just like that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what's up? Yeah, okay, this 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 works. Sorry, I had to get ready because I gotta go after the stream. Just you gotta chill out. Mm -hmm. Thank you to the bomb. Thank you, thank you. Not sure what you meant by knowledge and culture equal, though, but yeah, either way, thank you for your kind words, bomb. And man, him saying thank you, thank you. And Prince Jean Deadby Crony, thank you. Oh, he's basically saying your meme is on point. Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you! <laughs> uh, and Sword Era, thank you, thank you. Get powder from your local Walmart or Canadian equivalent and mix it in. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. And Hunky Dunk, thank you. And Kasuma K. I'm mixing hot chocolate with raw eggs. Eh? I don't know about that. I've, I've never tried that before. Is that okay? But 
but uh, let's see. What's your go-to order of milk tea? <sighs> I like pudding. Um, pudding, pudding. <laughs> I like pudding, pudding. Yeah. And um. Well, like, the thing I get is very specific, so I can't tell you exactly, but it's like a tea, um, like, let's say, like, jasmine or something. Jasmine tea, but with a little bit of, like, cheese foam. That's pretty nice. And then, yeah, no pearls. Yeah. And taro milk tea with pudding is good too. Mm -mm -mm. Why the secrecy? Oh, because I get it from this very specific store. And I just order it from there. And it's kind of their specialty, I think. Which is why I can't really say it. But it's pretty good. I like it. Thank you to Ryban, thank you, and Zanya, thank you, thank you, and Corn and Butter, my favorite soup base. I like... I like chicken noodles <laughs> from Tim Hortons, I think it's the bomb, but soup base, mm. like it's spicy, yeah. And Liquid Bishop. Mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. And Kurizora. I've done udon and ramen at the same time. It's good, but it gets you full and dummy thick. But it's so worth it, man. I love noodles. Yeah. Dude, that sounds so awesome! Dude, I want to try it! Oh my god, that sounds so good! But I'd have to boil udon noodles too, and then get ramen. How am I gonna do that? And Topnip Gear, thank you, thank you. And Tatianaki, thank you, thank you. And Cloud Rain, slash Blessed Archdemon, thank you. And Chromadingus, Catcher of Hands. Instructions unclear, giving crony all my food even if I starve. Don't worry, I'll be fine. Probably. I'm gonna eat all of them. <laughs> and thank you to Park Coach, thank you. And Mameng, thank you. And Alejandro Martinez, thank you. And Mr. Death the Kid 8, thank you for your rainbow supa. Uh, sorry for the late Supa boss, but I want to congratulate you on your 3D showcase. It was a fantastic way to end the summer, one of the best of my life, thanks to you. And the perfect demonstration of how talented but also hardworking you are. Everything was superb. Your presentation, acting, singing, dancing, sense of humor, power washing, and even the commercial break. It must have taken a staggering amount of work and preparation to put on that performance, and is all the more impressive since it was a one-woman show. I found it a daring and unique choice, the perfect calling card to introduce you to new viewers because it shows in one screen that you are uh, that you are a great all-round entertainer but also very gentle. I won't lie, I had teary eyes when you had uh, when you read the letter towards the end. That showcase was a further testament to your never-ending growth as a VTuber and artist, but your kindness and sweetness remain unchanged. Uh, there may be many oral crony across the timelines and universes, but there is only one you. You are and will always be the best oral crony of all. Our crony, and this is a canon event. Oh, thank you. I, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll do. 
better next time. I'll do even better next time. Yeah. Thank you for your kind words. <laughs> Tihi. Thank you. Uh, and thank you to Mr. Ving. Um, oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm still trying. Trying. Learning. Now I want to keep doing better. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Joe Mori River, thank you. Uh, here's my chilled chocolate milk find. Have you tried drinking Milo or Ovaltine? They're pretty popular in Southeast Asia. Oh, I've never tried it. I've heard of them. Um, what was that accent just now? I've heard of them. <laughs> but. Yeah, I only found out through, you know, through stream that they exist. Otherwise, it was just Nesquik and Costco brand cocoa powder. And 172PRV, thank you. And Zame, any favorite anime scenes like Death Note, Potato Chip, Kaneki's Knuckle Cracking, Ava, congratulations. Um, my favorite anime scene. Uh, well, like, Death Note, I quite liked. Mm. Oh, what was her name? Misora Naomi. Like, when they had a showdown, like, there's this part where her eyes grow empty, and I think they really portrayed how horrifying the Death Note can be. I like that one. Yeah. That was pretty intense. And then other anime scenes. I liked, um... Yeah, that scene was messed up. Yeah. What else? What was the other? And then a Madoka Magica thing. Um, Sayaka was saying, you know, I was such a fool. I was such a fool. That was good too. Uh, my favorite girl actually is Madoka. Cause she's so like cute and ganky. That was nice, but as for character design, I'd say Sayaka. Cause I like the I like I like the aesthetics for her. Yeah. Crony, what your favorite moments? They're all dark. No. No, there were some bright ones. There were some happy ones. Uh. Oh no, <laughs> you're right. Oh no. No. Well, in Devil Man Cry Baby, towards the end, um. The main character, uh, is like, you know, running out of time and they try to, uh, make it for something. And then they find out. <laughs> I like that scene. <laughs> I like the scene where, um, you know, the Devil Man no Uta, the, the, the newest version was playing in the episode, but it was with a kin. Um, and I think they were in a tent. <laughs> and 
and the music was playing. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> what else? I was supposed to do an uplifting one. Ah. Uh, Oh! And... And Erased. I really liked it when, you know, the, the car scene. I like the car scene. Like, where the main character and this other person is in the same car. And then... And then that's the reason why they're... Uh, Ending up in the future kind of thing. I like that one. Because it was... Yeah. The, the revelation scene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, the revelation scene. I like the revelation scene. I like psychological damage, I really do, because if it hurts, that's how you know that it's good. If you feel hurt from it, that means it was good. Yeah. Yeah, and then, um... No, I like Kino's journey. I thought that was pretty... pretty interesting, too. Uh... Yeah, Kino's journey, yeah. I, I like that one. Do you watch Elaine, the Traveling Witch? Oh, is that the... Is that the messed up one? Oh, that is the messed up one! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah, that one was... That one was, like, pretty... That one was okay. Uh, it had some interesting moments. Uh, as for Kino's journey, uh, let's see... I didn't know there was even a recent one. But yeah, I like that. I like the old one, yeah. But it looks really different, wow. Oh! Don't tell me you also like Mirai Nikki. Uh, well... <laughs> I didn't finish that one, because, um... Uh, I had a favorite character there, and... Uh, you know, was also, you know, I, I I liked her, and then she 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 did something to the other character, and I did not watch that episode. I dropped it from there. Yeah, I stopped. Yeah. Uh, Crony brings a psychological damage kind of vibe to the function. Heck yeah! I want to watch Elf in Line, but it, it seems too violent, and I don't like violence. 
Oh, pupa! Yeah! A friend recommended that to me, so I read that and then turns out that it came out as a short. Uh, they really, um, made it less gory. Yeah. Psychopath, hmm. Oh, Pupa's kind of messed up, yeah. Mm, I think the manga is more messed up than the anime. The anime is um, pretty watered down, I'd say. You were like made in the best. Ah, yeah, there are some parts about it. Yeah, yeah. You actually know the dark ones. No, I don't know a lot of dark ones. Oh yeah, Goblin Slayer. Um, there was a lot of um, high expectations for that, but yeah, I kind of dropped it later. I felt like um, people were talking about it, especially for the shock value um, in the first episode. And then, yeah, later on it gets kind of um, eh. Like Batman getting therapy. <laughs> what kind of analogy is that? Oh, Monster. Yeah, uh, I've heard a lot of good things about Monster too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Monster. Mm. I guess um. I liked a lot of, um, I liked quite a few scenes from Paranoia Agent. I like that too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, Paranoia Agent, that was pretty good. Oh, Serial Experiment Lane! Yeah, I want to. I want to um, watch that one. Yeah, that one I really want to watch. Uh, Zakyo no Terror. That was... Uh, that was... Uh, we can all get messed up together. No, it's not that bad. Darker than black. Oh, I knew someone who liked it, but I was like, eh. yeah. Mushishi. Oh, yeah, I've heard that it was chill. It seemed nice. But I like my like my stuff, like oh, you know? It's gotta hurt. And then I gotta finish watching Saint Seiya. Lost Canvas was it? Yeah, I gotta I gotta finish watching that. Man, it was it was pretty good in the first few episodes. And then I stopped because I ran out of time. Violet Evergarden. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about that. Like, the animation quality and everything's good, but... It's just... Chill things aren't really my thing. I like... Either comedy... Or... Pain. I like pain. Umineko! Yeah! That was pretty good. 
I know, Violet Evergarden isn't dark, that's why <laughs> I didn't watch it. Mm, Violet Evergarden is pretty painful. It's, it's kind of like beautiful kind of painful. I don't, I don't want that. I just want like, wow. Like, that's so messed up kind of thing. Like, um, Promise Neverland was pretty decent too. Um, yeah, at least initially, I think it was really good. And then felt like the pacing kind of fell short in a way. Um... And what was it? Ah, oh, I got a so good. Uh, I gotta look it up. This one's kind of violent. I never really finished it. Uh. If you don't like gore, don't read it. Uh, Shokuryo Jinrui. Uh, apparently English translation is Starving Anonymous. Yeah, uh, that one's not really deep. It's like the plot is pretty. Yeah. It's not very, like, too deep, it's... yeah. But I, I still, like, read quite a bit, and then I stopped. Oh, it has a sequel! Oh! Yeah... ショクリオ人類はえうまいえあ絵がうまいやあやあそうそうそうそうそう絵がうまい。うん。それと、うん。キモい。うん。うん。バイオレンス。ダメ。あ。血がいっぱい出る。<笑><笑> um, 気持ち悪い。Yeah. Um, yeah, that was uh, I've been meaning to get into that. Uh, I read Flower Flower of Evil. Um, yeah. That was uh, Akunohana. Yeah, that was that was okay too. And then I was gonna read Pum Pum, like Oyasumi Pum Pum. And, um. I guess it had, like, semi realistic art. So that one kind of made me a little. How should I say? Afraid. Yeah. And also, it has some sexual stuff, so I get kind of like squeamish about it, so... Yeah. Mm-mm. Yeah... Uh, uh, anyway, I gotta get back on track. 
Let's do 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 do. Uh, thank you to Lil Uzi Bird. Glad I stopped by. Thank you for stopping by. And my Zoomy, thank you. And number 1729, thank you for the chill stream. Thank you. And eating Mike Tyson, thank you. Epic Drip, thank you, thank you. And Toshi, right, right, Detective Conan. <laughs> sure. And Nyad. Oh, thank you for the recommendation. Thank you. And the unknown chair. Just like your villainous manhwas, I'm cursed with reading all the return of. Uh, where they travel back in time or come back from somewhere. Yeah, I read that too. So I read the villainous ones and I read the isekai ones. Like, you know, the world is destroyed and they go back in time because they obtained something and they're able to go back into the past. But with the knowledge that they have, they're able to go to like, like the eighth circle or whatever. And people, there are some bullies, but they become nothing. Yeah. So, it, it's pretty tuny. But I, I read those too. Kick from the party mangas. Mmm! Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like the revenge ones too. Oh. Yeah, so I, yeah, I like, I like those. Eh. Simon Kim, thank you, and Tante Anaki. The worst thing about getting into a new author or series is you start reading and then partway through the publisher changes or reprints happen and now the new book spines don't match the old ones. Yeah, I hate that. That's what happened for Warriors too. Because I really like the painted style and recently they went into a more semi-realistic one. And that one... I'm kind of sad about. Yeah, I, I like the original art. Then they made everything hard book. Like, I, I mean hardcover book, so yeah. Uh, let's see. And Big the Cat in the Hat, thank you. And whoops, my bad, thank you. And Yanyi. Oh, thank you, thank you. And Meow Cuckoo, Crony's Discord Kitten. Get some help, my dude. And Hunky Dunk, thank you. <laughs> I don't watch any movies anymore in hopes of watching them for the first time with you. No! Go watch some movies, man! Don't, don't let me stop you. Maybe the second time you get to watch it, you get to notice all the, all the itty bitty gritty details. And Yukari Mike, thank you. And Wet Toko Time, thanks for the power wash stream, Crony. It's always a good time lying back and chilling to some chow, 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 yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna so. I'm gonna watch the heck out of FNAF. Heck yeah. Oh my goodness, if that's in the ending credits, whoa, the kids are gonna go wild. And uh, Kippa12312. It's always fun seeing chat's reaction when you say something insane. Air quotes. And Neo Matrix, 
I miss these power wash screens so much. Thank you for coming back to it. Thank you. Thank you. And Yune. Thank you. And bye, Tiago Ghost. Thank you. Uh, speaking about movies and books, which one did you like the most about Harry Potter? Um, I liked... Mm. I like the scene for the Philosopher's Stone with the chess one. I thought that was interesting. Um, I like Prisoner of Azkaban because I got to see more of, um, or, or well, it was a good introduction to Sirius Black. Uh, and I got to see more Buckbeak. And then I like the Half Blood Prince because, well, you know. Y you know. <laughs> Who did you ship Harry with? Mal- no. I didn't. I didn't ship him with anyone else, so... When I saw him, like... Like, getting together with this girl, I was like, Oh, okay, I don't even recognize this person, but I guess that's happening, huh? Why the heck would I ship him with Dobby? Are you crazy? Oh, you know, actually, speaking of Dobby, um, back then I got into an argument with Sally for, um, like regarding Dobby, whether it was uh, pronounced Dobby or Doby, and Sally said it's pronounced Doby, and I said it's Dobby. And I was even showing clips saying that I was right. Yeah. And and even when I showed her the clip, she said, No, it sounds like Dobie. What's wrong with you? And I got so frustrated, I cried. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I cried. I, I I got I got too frustrated, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Uh, thank you to Lynn, thank you. And Sarmek, thank you. And Rekuza, thank you. And Kurizora. Power Wash really does bring bring out you and your element the most. It can be fun to tease about your takes, but it's nice to see you chat and be honest about it. There is practically too much to consume and so little time to do so. Mm -mm -mm. And Sophus, thank you for the fun stream. <clears throat> Any exciting announcements for the future? I still need to order your cape. Mm hmm. 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 I think you should get the cape. Yeah. Yeah. And last but not least, my Zumi the cute crony. Thank you so much for the stream crony. Missed you so much. Uh, today was amazing and I feel reinvigorated to do all my work this week. Can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Yeah! And we're gonna... We're gonna play things. It's gonna be... Hella rad. Ender lilies. Heck yeah! Ender lilies! Ender lilies! Whoa! I'm so excited! Yeah. Finishing it? Um, it'd be nice if I could finish it, honestly. Yeah. So excited to see all of it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I only have two bosses left? Oh my god! Oh. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. Okay, bye. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'll be able to finish it tomorrow. Dude. Heck, awesome. 100% the map, maybe. Yeah. And it's on my main account too, accidentally, but it's on my main account. So I am more than motivated to 100% it. Yeah. Okay. But with that, I wish you guys all a very good, good, good day. But before that, I gotta, I gotta read some gifts, gifts. <laughs> So to the following, thank you to Mr. V, number 1729, Wakey, Nine Tails Sue, Big the Cat in the Hat, and my Zumi the Cute Crony. Thank you. Yee. Alright, with that, Kudo Yasumi. Dark Earth Boros' Serpent, thank you. Alright. Oh, you silly. Wet Taco Time, thank you. And Sam goes by, but yet in training, thank you. Goodbye, goodbye. I'm gonna go eat. Yay. And Daku, thank you. And Zesty Sloth. And Trouble. And Meow Puku, Crony's Discord Kitten. You wish. Club Kun. Um, Asuda. And Chromadingus, Catcher of Hands. Thank you, thank you. Yee. You're too late. But thank you to Dartrith, Boros' Servant, Hobo, and Trouble, and Aquatic Lettuce. Thank you. Thank you.